I guess the most important thing is what did we learn then that we can use um, to make our lives better, uh, safer, more successful now? Well, we learned a, a mass of things, that banks needed to have much more capital and liquidity, that regulators needed to understand them better. Uh, at that point, the critical point, we learned that investment banks and AIG, insurance companies, were just as important as banks, and they also needed to be protected. I suppose the two biggest things we learned were that um, contagion in a financial crisis doesn't flow through individual losses. It's not an arithmetical thing that Lehman's has lost a lot of money and it won't be able to pay its debts. It's a confidence matter. It spreads because people lose confidence and trust in the system. And what we learned in the month following Lehman was that only concerted action by all the Western governments and indeed the Chinese government together was able to re-establish that confidence which is necessary to a working financial system. And of course, good morning to you, Sir John. And of course, the, the UK crisis sort of bookended Lehman in that there was the Northern Rock. Yeah. And then, we, so you were already deep in, into that. And then, of course, shortly afterwards, the implications for RBS and HBOS and the others became clear. Um, when, during the Lehman crisis, did you start to join the dots to the, rest, to the UK banks? Because it didn't take long for some big action to be necessary from the UK government. No, I mean, the decision to let Lehman's go, which surprised us, I mean, I think it completely surprised the markets, surprised everyone, because they all thought, we all thought, the US government was on top of this, they, they'd saved Bear Stearns, they'd saved Fannie and Freddie, surely they'd save Lehman's, and they just let it drop. We knew immediately we were in trouble, and in the following week, you saw, uh, in our case, Bradford and Bingley, very like Northern Rock, go under, so we had to, uh, to, to close that down. You had UBS, you had German banks, you had Fortis in Belgium. I mean, it was literally in days you could see that confidence was just ebbing out of the system. And I think within 10 days, we at the bank were the sole supporters in liquidity terms of uh, HBOS, Halifax Bank of Scotland, and the Royal Bank of Scotland. So, yeah, it was the trigger point for uh, the meltdown. Sir John, was it important, do you think, for markets in some ways to allow Lehman to collapse, to show um, that, you know, you've, you've got to deal with the repercussions of the risk you take in order to put a, put a, to put a stop to moral hazard in some, in some ways? No, I think it was a disastrous mistake. Um, yeah, you can argue afterwards that it was impossible to step in and help them, um, that actually it was better in the long term. But I think uh, you could see in the month or two after the failure of Lehman's, even after the successful rescue operation for the rest of the banking sector, that the whole world economy took a huge step downwards. That was the precipitating factor. Now, of course, there were political reasons for that. It was very difficult for the U.S. government to step in again to bail out, use taxpayers' money to bail out Wall Street. I understand that. So, in that sense, it may have been unavoidable, but insofar as it was a decision, it was a mistake. You talked about the amount of cooperation that was needed to fix this uh, in your first answer, uh, Sir John. With populism on the rise and threats, in some senses, to some of the global architecture, at least from, from, from some quarters, should we be fearful that if another crisis happens, there won't be the cooperation there? Or do you think, actually, scratch underneath, underneath the political rhetoric, all of that cooperation is still very much there? No, I think we should be worried. I mean, I think we've learnt a lot. There's been a big ramping up of capital, liquidity, all sorts of controls on the banks. The regulators at a working level are much more closely intertwined with each other. So a lot of the groundwork's been done. But absolutely, would uh, the Federal Reserve be able to step in and offer swaps right round, not just Western Europe, but round the world in the current political climate? A lot would depend on the political uh, leaders. Uh, at that point, George Bush absolutely backed them.
uh, Congress didn't, if you remember, rejected their first plan. But they had a president who didn't know much about it, but he could see it was serious and he absolutely backed them. Is that what would happen today? I don't know. Sir, Sir John, we did see U.S. banks recovering relatively quickly after the financial crisis, certainly relative to what we see uh, here in Europe on the continent um, and in the U.K. What do you think it's going to take for European banks to recover, and, and do you think that's going to happen? Uh, well, in the U.K., obviously, we got our own local set of uncertainties around Brexit, and I think that's holding holding back uh, our economy at the moment and is likely con to continue to do so for several years. As far as Europe's concerned, of course, there were two crises. There was the crisis of uh, basically the subprime crisis, which had big impacts on the, on the European banking sector. But following that, there was the euro crisis two years later. And it's that which has really held uh, Europe back. Um, I think the other point to make, and uh, uh, Americans usually make this point, I think it's fair, is that uh, top two, I mean the second version of the recapitalization of American banks and the introduction of stress tests was done very thoroughly in the States, whereas I think it's true to say in Europe uh, there was a much more grudging, slow s approach to recapitalizing the banks. And so there are still problems in Europe, and we've heard about it this morning. Uh, uh, the future of Italian banks is still, you know, is still clouded mm. in a way that is not the case in America. And I think uh, uh, there's some unfinished business there.